Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bruno from the BTN HD. And yes, continuation our WSUS within Windows Server 2019. On the last video, we did the installation and today we're going to do the configuration. So let's get started. On the last video, I left you guys right here when it was synchronizing. Uh, for me, I got 874 updates, which is pretty nice. So it's time for us to um, kind of configure our machines within our network to start talking to our WSUS so we can push out updates to our machines. So if you click on options and go to computers, you get two options to do this. I like to do this within a group policy setting and that's what I'm gonna pick. Use group policy or registry setting on computers. And we're going to apply that and okay it and then we're good to go. Now, I'm gonna go inside my my domain controller and I'm going to click on start and locate Windows administrative tools. And from there, I'm going to open up the group policy management. Okay. Now I already have a WSUS policy already pushed out and that WSUS policy is for my SCCM, but I'm going to show you guys how to create it. Now I'm going to go back inside my update server uh, console. And the reason why is because on this video, I want to show you guys how to configure it for a target, uh, you know, collection. I'm going to expand computers and all computers and automatically Microsoft provides you an unassigned computers collection. I'm going to right click on the primary all computers and then I'm going to click on add computer group. Now the specific name that I'm going to give my group is basically BTNHD lab computers. Okay. So when my GPO hits my machines on my network, it's going to automatically go inside this collection, inside this group, right? And I click on add and there we go. Now let's go back inside our group policy management and I'm going to right click on the primary node of my domain controller. You are able to specify and target particular OUs within your group policy. But for me, I'm going to push it globally on the root side. So I'm going to right click on it and pick create a GPO in this domain and link it here. I'm going to give it a name, you give it whatever you want. I'm going to give it BTNHD WSUS policy. Click OK. I'm going to right click on a new policy and then click on edit. So once you open it up, it is time to configure it. To configure it, we need to go inside computer configuration, policies, administrative templates, expand that and go inside windows components. Now within windows components, we are going to go into windows updates and within windows updates, you have a lot of group policies. Now I think I'm going to show you guys within this video, only three. And the first one is configure automatic updates, double click on it. And by default, it's not configured and we are going to enable it. And from here, you're going to configure the way that you want your updates to be automatically pushed out. It's auto download and notify for install, uh, schedule an install for every day and also schedule install time. I can't really tell you guys what to do here. This is really up to you on how you want to configure the updates to be pushed down to your machines on your network. Once you configure it, you apply it and you okay it and you're good to go. Now, the second one that I'm going to show you guys is basically specify the internet Microsoft update service location. By default, it's not configured, so we're going to enable it and we need to specify our, you know, our URL of our W sub server. So for me, it is HTTP colon forward slash forward slash and the entire full qualified domain name of my W sub server with colon 8530. You're going to provide that within the first two text box. Okay. If you have an alternate download server, you are able to fill that out on the, on the third text box, but it's really up to you for this video. I'm going to fill it out with the two text box because I don't have a alternate download server. We're going to apply it. Okay. Good to go. Now the third one I'm going to show you guys, because we created a computer group or a collection within our WSUS, I'm going to double click on enable client side targeting. Once you double click on it again, it is not configured. We're going to enable it. And what's the target group name for this computer? So when this group policy is pushed out on these PCs on the floor, on the office, and they start talking to this GPO and the GPO is saying, okay, this is your WSUS. This is where you're going to receive these updates from, but I want you to go inside this group and bingo, you 
whatever name you gave your group. Mine was BTNHD Lab Computers, and that's it. Click apply, okay it, and that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Leave comments right below. Don't forget about hitting that like button, and I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.